Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. Well, time to meet with uh, Felix's contact, a friend, and, well, it's kind of like a, a friend. A friend, I guess. They met a long time ago. They were friends for a long time, and they didn't see each other for like five years. And now, uh, Felix received the letter. Kind of ignored it for us a long, long time, but he told me about it, and now we're here. Oh shit, this is the ship. Wait. Isn't that... Is this my ship? Fuck. What? Is he... Is he on my ship? Is this my ship? This looks my ship. The unreliable interior. Is he... Is he in my ship? Where the fuck is he? <clears throat> so we just went back to our own ship. That's where we tried to find his missing friend. <clears throat> Don't worry, I, I run on a really tight ship. Oi, is your friend here? Wait, he's not here? Where the fuck is he? What? Where's your friend? Clyde Hello. Uh, an old friend of Felix, from his early days on the Groundbreaker, wants to meet him in person. Hello, uh, told Felix he wants to bring him to a part of the revolution project. Bring Felix to meet Harlow. Felix wants to meet Harlow in person, travel to his landing pad on Scylla to have a chat with him. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? We're there. Felix, what the fuck? What's on your mind? I mean, I want to ask about this Harlow guy. Yeah, sure thing. Ask away. Uh, never mind that. Uh, it was more specific to that. Where the fuck is this Harlow? So he's supposed to be here on Scylla. Let's fucking go. Enter. And he's not here. Oh shit, actually, I, I should make one change. Uh, we should get Max out as well. Because he has a mission as well. And it's and it's gonna be one of those rare cases when Parvati is gonna be benched. And it's... Wow! Mind-blowing. But Parvati is gonna be benched. Just just because... Just purely because... Uh, this is maybe usable. I mean, it's no big deal. Let's use that. Do you have something that... Allows you to not die instantly. Uh, yeah. That's good enough. You know? So, let's bunch Parvati and put him in car. Uh, that's still uh, fucked up. This uh, character, uh, character selection screen. It's dark because I use a, a dumb AMD card. And, you know, the drivers. You know, you never see this shit with MD video. But, price performance, right? <clears throat> Oh, look at that. You're looking mighty handsome in those uh, clothes, VCar Max. Uh, Felix, you just look ready for battle. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Is it he supposed to be here? What's on your mind? Where's this hollow guy? I I I selected the the GPS tracker Harlow right now. Circus time a freighter. Didn't we land there? Hmm. Alright, we're just gonna check this out. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I We landed here. Uh, came this way, and it was just a massive, uh, massive detour. But, like, okay, fine. But we did it. Like, this entire place is uh, explored now. And he was not here. Bring Felix to meet Harlow. To his landing pad on Scylla. To have a chat with him. Wait, does he have, like, a, a, a personal landing pad? His own base? I think that's 
that's the case. Oh yeah, this is just one area of Scylla. Okay, okay, you know. But yeah, that, that is actually correct. So, so let's go there. Actually, we can just travel there. Let's do that. <clears throat> so at least Vicar is getting something out of it. And what we have to do is just uh, leave Scylla and come back to Scylla. Oh, hi, Vicar. Uh, uh, Hermit Lodge. Uh, yeah, we're doing that. <clears throat> leave Scylla, come back to Scylla and... Uh, uh, pfft, maybe... Uh, it will show up. Hey! Uh, Hermit. Wow. So rude. Just because she's the only person not dead here? How dare you? Living on your own? You should be dead outside with the other people. Hmm? Hmm? Feeling sassy now. I don't know why. Uh, f okay. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? Ah, uh, I'm definitely not doing that. I must that. admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Ah, uh, says a person who never got robbed, most likely. <clears throat> uh, pfft. Oh yeah, we're here to rob you. What do you got? Not much, but you are free to take whatever you wish. Please leave me a few morsels of food, though. I may not eat a lot, but I still do need to eat. We are not here to rob <laughs> you. I've brought this book for you to translate for me. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. Ooh, he's gonna love that. I've spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. Oh yeah, this is what we need. <clears throat> Him wasting a few more years with this shit. Uh, can we just move along? <laughs> Oh, hermit lady, enough talk. How about you throw Max here a bone? <laughs> I fucking love that line. Uh, we come a long way to help Max get some peace. Is there anything you can do to help? Ooh, yeah. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. The big fucking question marks. What? Are we talking about translation here? Uh... You mean drugs, right? A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Uh... Well, Max is ready. He said he's ready for all the drugs. What happens if you're unprepared? <laughs> this is such a silly. If it turns out to be true, but like, come on, this is the craziest. Uh, uh, no, it's not really craziest, but it's just kind of silly. I'm totally an unbeliever, of course. But uh, <laughs> that would be the best. It just turns out bullshit. Like all this, all this adds up to nothing, and it is and. <laughs> Vicar Max has just went down a path of total nonsense and wasted his life. That's the story I want to hear. I honestly, honestly, that's the story. Not just like this somehow magically ties into aliens. <laughs> what happens if you're unprepared? Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, Max is ready. And I believe he may be right. <clears throat> there is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost. <laughs> it's just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. <laughs> Felix is the perfect guy for this. <sighs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> maybe maybe Ali could. <laughs> oh my god! It's like oh, I'm ready for the drugs. It's like uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm, well, I'm not in. Max is in. I'm committed to taking as many drugs as possible. So come in as well. Wait, I'm just doing it for fun. Wait. I'm committed to taking as many drugs as possible, so come in as well. All right. <laughs> Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. What? <gasps> what? I didn't foresee this. Max, you want to get high? Are we going to talk? Oh, we're going... <clears throat> come. Uh, we're going to get high. Ooh, this is perfect. <clears throat> Hopefully it's not poison. Ah. Oh, Max. Come on. Deep breathe. Oh. I see the planets. Wow. I see a ghost. What's wrong, Max? Can't think straight? Now you know how I feel. Uh, wait, forget I said that. It is the drugs too. It's like, this is weird. Still, I think surprising here that your mom still wears clothes. I'm a little surprised about that. Your mother's right, Max. We should listen to her. If she's a hallucination, why am I seeing her too? Right. Wait, I, 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 I'm thinking about attacking your mom. Right. The first time, Max. This is all bullshit. Don't fall for it. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out, always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place, never looking inside himself. Hey, <clears throat> look here, fake Yoda. Okay, with your mom, how about giving us answers instead of hollow platitudes? <laughs> I fucking love the vision, mom. On second top, maybe she's onto something after all. That's just crazy, but maybe I'll, I, I, I actually kind of makes sense to me. Don't listen to this crap, Max. You're right. This is all just a sick joke. No, <clears throat> no, no, no. Okay, with your mom, how about giving us some answers? And platitudes from a figment... <laughs> figment? Of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You've always known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. <coughs> the stories others sell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I got your story right here. I'm Vicar Max. I'm uptight. I love the church, and I'm a stooge for the board. And I don't understand that Felix is a genius. <laughs> Fucking Felix, I love you. <clears throat> oh my god, yes! Felix is awesome! Why are you sometimes boring? Like, he's just a uh, not too bright but funny guy. <clears throat> oh my god. Felix appreciation time. I think if I have to rate the followers just based on my feelings, this is kind of dumb. I should just stick to this, stick to this, enjoy this fucking moment. But like, Felix is growing on me. That's what I want to say. <clears throat> Your mom's right, Max. Your story blinded you to the truth and landed you in prison, in jail. Seeing the truth is easier said than done. How about we cut to the chase here, lady? Uh, Figment? Shut this crap down, Max. You don't need this. You're right. I don't need this. I... I just want the answers I seek, not your games. 
The plan is everything. Following it is what made you and father happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. Fuck. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max? Why do you do that? <laughs> this is actually quite profound. <clears throat> I make kind of a, a joke out of it, but they are actually taking this in a very interesting... Uh, uh, path. Location. <laughs> Whatever. I quite... <clears throat> quite Felix. But I'm also committed to this... Uh, half ass tone of voice, so I don't know. I'm conflicted now. This game is just so much fun. Quiet, Felix. Yeah, Max. Why do you do that? If it does, he shouldn't. He's a better man than he gives himself credit for. Max, I figured it out. You need to kill this guy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. This is kind of like a metaphor, I'm not exactly sure what to call it. Killing your uh, view of yourself, your perfectionist view of yourself. I'm not sure how to put it quite, but this is quite interesting. Wow. But yeah, kill this guy now. What are you talking about? He's yourself. You need to get rid of him. Get it? It's almost like a bad joke. I was, no, no, my dad. No, no, no. Yeah, you, you, you got you gotta get rid of yourself. I can do that. No. Uh oh. They'll Jack regret taking us on. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh shit. Maybe I shouldn't encourage uh, I violence. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. Um. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> I'm just recovering here. Uh, what happened? Thankfully, all all that talking and arguing ruined my eye. What happened? I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting. I'm experiencing. Everything is perfect. Yeah, just just try to stick to the smallest words you can use to convey your thoughts. At least that's what I like to do. And maybe <laughs> that's why some of you think I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> that's just something I say about myself, but uh, I'm not really accused of that uh, ever. But I, it's, it's generally a, a good idea. Do you just use the smallest words? You're not going to be like a big man by just using like words no one knows or just... Uh, yeah, it just doesn't make too much sense. <clears throat> or not super familiar with. I'm, uh... It just, like... You should try to be as, as, as clear as possible when, when you just uh, try to convey information. And many times you see this in religion that they're just so fucking vague. It's like, come on! <clears throat> I'm glad you found the answers you were looking for, Max. I don't know! <laughs> Uh, but that was pretty cool. Like his is 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 uh, ideal self showing up. That was very cool. I wonder if they based it on something because I've never seen this in games. I believe I I, I don't recall. So very well done. 
So you weren't as prepared as you thought? You obviously got insane. I don't know. This is good. Really, have you looked around the colony lately? I'm so glad you found the answers you were looking for. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality, clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. The Carmax. <clears throat> Just to rephrase what you were saying, <clears throat> the thing is, uh, the fact is, a lot of things people just cannot control, and by trying to control it, they just get sad. People just like, oh my god, you, you might not like that the weather is bad one day, but you know, just like, you know, that's affecting your mood, or you just uh, get affected by, uh, I don't know, politics or whatever. Like, you know, like it affects you, but in a way, you you can't can't truly control it you know it's just out of your control like what you can control you can't even control the outcomes of your actions usually you not not guaranteed not guaranteed you can just you can just focus on the process you can kind of control your intentions in a way but there's only very little you have true control over and you shouldn't the mainly comes to the expectations Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way you are, they are. So going with open mind and, you know, not with expectations, not, you know, not what you, yeah, just, you know, expectations. <clears throat> and in a way, life experience, almost like uh, the kind of blinders you see on a horse, you know, it just limits your experience. People already make up their minds as, as they get older, as they experience and as they, you know, they they change their views, not not as open, like in a way, like rightfully so, but not as open to, not necessarily as open to uh, new information. They kind of made up their mind, <clears throat> uh, but I'm kind of rambling here. I just uh, go on. There may be something to that. You seem happy, or at least not angry. If you say so. I've had enough uh, philosophism to last a lifetime. Let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Vicar Max, you're just like throwing me, throwing a, like a uh, juicy steak in my face. And I'm licking it before I'm biting. No, no, no. I, I love this shit. I love thinking about stuff. <clears throat> uh, there may be something to that. You seem happy or at least not angry. The thing is, you just can't really say this. Just like... You know, in a way, you had this revelation. Kind of. You know, the thing is, he was chasing, or I'm not even sure. I, I wouldn't say that just just based on like one drug trip that he's he's over it. But he was chasing this one thing, and he had expectations, and he kind of expected it to expectations again to give him answers. And obviously, like, it can't. Like, I'm not, not sure what you expect. There may be something to that you seem happy or at least not angry. <clears throat> I am content. I finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. You can't really... A thing is about progress, it's not really a straight line ever. Not just like, I'm getting from A to B, but like, I'm getting to A to B, a, B is not it. I'm going to C, but I'm going to E, I'm going to Z, I'm going to like, A, B, C, 20 billion, and you just go through all the shit and, you know, ultimately you just find <clears throat> whatever uh, makes sense and works. Also, there's a lot of bullshit out there. I wonder if that always was the case. Or just, uh... Uh, maybe mainstream, or just... Oh, Hermit, should we talk to this person? So, 
Have you found your answers? I... Well. Not so much found as <clears throat> finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. Uh, existence is simpler with your eyes closed. It takes courage to open them. <clears throat> yeah, that's quite obvious. This actually is on... Well, I would, I would get flack for this, but... Uh... This is uh, maybe maybe I shouldn't say it. <laughs> maybe I would I wouldn't get flagged for this, but I, I do believe that uh, religion sometimes is like that, simplifying uh, the world. Not not necessarily, but in in a way it can be that way. You know, people people are trying to make sense of it, uh, the existence and uh, what things happen since since like since we. Since you know it, like people like, of course, gods. <clears throat> like, this is not really uh, offensive to anybody. People are always trying to look for answers, make sense of <sighs> what happens, even if like it doesn't make sense. People are pretty good at uh, making connections, even if there's uh, none. Intelligence. It looks like you learned something in there as well. Uh, I I can't say I have, but it was it was nice. Nope, I already knew that. I was just enjoying myself. Of course you were. What? I'm tired of all the talking. We're leaving. We should go. Of course you were. <clears throat> we just got hot. And maybe you become less uh, less of an uptight uh, asshole. Interesting. That I I didn't expect uh, Vicar to go down this path, <clears throat> but I'm I'm glad he did. What? Hostiles nearby. Trouble incoming, Captain. Oh shit. My hero. Got a robot. Well done. We are victorious. Plasma weakness. I take more plasma damage, but I get a perk point. That <laughs> is worthless. Uh, but also taking more plasma damage is kind of pointless. Although the robots are kind of a big deal. But perk points are pointless, so. Ah, oh, it's a little bummer. So, what we have here... Meet with Phineas as contact on Byzantine. Find and kill Eva Chartrand on Byzantine. Report to Dr. Dorzat. That's... On Groundbreaker, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Bring Felix to meet with Harlow. And speak to Ioka. Okay, okay. We're going back to the unreliable. We should talk to Nayoka. That we have the... I don't know. Monkey pieces. I, I got them, okay? Some, you're adjusting before you pull. I don't like you this. Uh, because Parvati is an excellent me? fighter. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account it's of cool, but... It's, it's, just, it's it. not not you realistic. Work with All right, cool. Let's talk. <clears throat> hey, Cap. Uh, these glands are gross. Take them, please. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. Uh, maybe. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's Brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Charon? It's about time we're gonna kill Manta Queen. Fucking right we are. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Let's do it! <clears throat> uh, okay. Clear out Nizoka's old base. So, yeah, we have a mission on Monarch. Uh, bring Felix to meet Harlow. Um, that's a good question. <clears throat> so, is there another base here on Scylla? 
Yes! Harlow's base. Uh, let's do that. Crew, you ready? Oh, fuck. I should sleep. Oh, uh, girls, just keep up. I'm not bothered by gunfire. No, please. I'm not crying. It's fine. Okay, never mind. Don't don't remind me to have uh, quarters on the ship. I I'm just feeling lonely, okay? Oh, pff, well, I should eat something. <clears throat> uh, a dream of time. The thing that I never use. Uh... I'm still struggling to find food. Everything comes in a can, I can't tell. <clears throat> oh, that's food. Let's eat that. Two two pieces of candy. <clears throat> Perfect. I'm good. Uh, uh we're gonna take Vicar Mac. No no no, we're not taking Vicar. We're taking uh Felix. And Pravati, maybe. I kind of like Felix. I also kind of like Vicar now. Would his personality change after this? <clears throat> so odd. Actually, Vicar can be at okay. Wait! Oh, crap. It crashed. And we're down. Ooh! This is tiny! Oh crap, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> so Phoenix, are you ready? <laughs> I enjoy getting high with you, but I guess that's a, a pretty... Oh my god, I would have loved that with Parvati as well, I, I guess. Oh. I kind of wish I could take more companions with me, because I just want to hear all their lines. Clyde must be inside. Hey, you. Looking for something? Yeah, I'm looking for Clyde. Where do you think you're going? Uh, Felix Milestone is with me. Clyde Harrow is expecting us. Who are you if you push me? He's a big guy. I'm just looking around. No, no, he's through you. No, no, no. I don't want to intimidate him. <clears throat> Felix Milestone is with me. Clyde Harrow is expecting us. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah, I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Seems like he might be a... a bandit. Got my sights on. And, uh, this is gonna be... this might be a lesson for Felix. But I have to say, the what happened with the car, I didn't expect that. I, I could have never predicted that. I could have guessed like tons of times, and I would have not even got close. But I love it. Hey there, honey, I'm home. Oh, this is not looking good. Dude sleeping. Outlaw. Yeah. Sure, I don't care about your vodka. Just sleeping everywhere. Okay. 8,000? Ultimate Bolter 2.0. Okay, so... You can purchase now this restricted stock. This is a good pistol, I, I guess. But it's damn pricey. Yeah. Pistol is viable, I suppose. If you want to go with that approach. But long guns seem a little better. Spacious choice. Oh, 
Oh, well, actually, let's check it out. <clears throat> Independent freighter cats meow. Whole contraband uh, pharmaceuticals brought down. Salvage cargo ransom crew. Wow. Uh, ransom crew. So they attacked the ship, uh, stole their shit, and uh, ransomed the crew. Subversive literature brought down. Salvage cargo crew joined up. Okay. Brought down salvage cargo. Crew jettisoned in escape pod. As usual, we were able to intercept these ships despite how cleverly they masked their heat signatures. Our patron pulled uh, through again with that tracking data. Don't know how they get their hands on it, but we, in, we are in no position to refuse charity. If not for me uh, taking on Felix, I'm pretty sure that uh, he would be very eager to jump on uh, as a pirate. But now that he has a choice, I think he's gonna be against it. Crew. Especially after he uh, made this big speech about we, we never gonna kill uh, innocents at least. Uh, yeah. I'm beginning to wonder about <clears throat> our patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest Valcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling 10 times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the Valkat instead. Something doesn't add up until I get answers. Stay skeptical. Of course it's corporate. Pirate code. Route 1. Harder's the boss. Route 2. Fuck the board. Route 3. Why are... You still reading, pig? Wake up! If you're seeing this, the board already owns you. You went looking for the rules, why? Because life's a game to you? Maybe you like being played? You puzzle... You guzzle down that sense of security like it's a puppy berry flavored opium. Fuck rules. And fuck terminals. It's not revolution if we're using the weapons they raised against us. And time again. From the front lines of the riots, the corporate sit-ins and... And Pirates code! Exceed the character limit. Well, I may have read that shit, but you wrote it. Uh oh. They're not straight up murderers, I guess. Hey, that guy, what's up? Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. Well, this is awkward. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He's been watching out for us just as much as we've been watching out for him. Felix's family, mister. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. <laughs> so long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Sounds to me like you're trying to control him. And you're clearly aware that 
in a way, he's seeking your approval somewhat, and you're trying to abuse that. You want to put him through a test? <clears throat> then allow me to enlighten you, Felix is loyal to me. That's... I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> Good luck, he's the least reliable crew on my ship, literally called the unreliable. <laughs> I would make this joke. I would make more jokes like this if people actually took it as jokes. But people just get offended. <laughs> but at the same time, also, I gotta ease them into it. <laughs> uh, you might put him through a test. This, the, the second and third just seems a little pe petty. Also, this is just very confident and like... Like, Felix should speak for himself. And this is just petty. And this is funny, but I'm not sure Felix would find it funny. You wanna put him through a test? Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Felix, you're not gonna say anything about this murder? What did Trask do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Liz on the Groundbreaker, last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. There's more to this than you're letting on. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Uh, something I'd like to ask you. Let's hear it. Felix, tell me you disappeared one day. I was working on this plan for years. Saving every bit I could. Drawing plans. Biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the Groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. You want to elaborate on that? I'm trying to hook him into uh, talking about himself and Felix getting disappointed. Hephaestus controlled mining operations all over Scylla. Most of these operations failed. The company pulled out and abandoned their facilities. Mostly abandoned anyway. This one was running on a skeleton crew. My associates and I seized control in a matter of minutes. You said you were working on something big. What? What's this? A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. You're a band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid. Some revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, 
we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. What makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. But they can afford it. All right. <clears throat> so, find Trask. We have to talk to uh, Rosanna. We also got to go back to Monarch. Wait, for two missions, we have to go back to the Groundbreaker. So I guess we'll do that. It is possible that he will get killed. This guy. But not yet. What the fuck? <gasps> Let me out! Does this open? No! Okay. No. Oh, okay. There. <sighs> well, we're bailing. I can't believe you want to help this guy, Felix. But I guess it's going to be a longer mission. Alright. Heading back to the Groundbreaker. And now we have less active missions. Which... I don't really mind. Now, let's just go to the Groundbreaker. Let's go to the groundbreaker. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. Sanitizing within established range. Please avoid damaging yourself or us. No promises about the damages. There's while you're out. <clears throat> Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen. Halcyon Helen. Okay. So. Uh, what's worst? Do I have the bright thing marked? Rosanna can be found on the Groundbreaker. And apparently, yeah. Uh, I should drink something. It's good enough. In the bar, by the looks of it. Do you have some good, You're looking good gear? Show me. Uh, Heavy machine gun too. 1100 DPS. Another heavy machine gun, too. So, this is a, a good weapon. It deals 133 uh, damage, which is pretty impressive. Wait, what? Oh, it's pristine condition? Uh, that means it has higher condition, but only by 20%. Eh. But that doesn't matter for the companions. They, they're not using the condition. I should buy Good one. To see you. Uh, let's buy heavy machine gun too. And that should be good enough. Maybe we're gonna check on the... The armor guy. I don't know if I... Actually, I don't like hey, this system. Look who it is. What with it the be? random loot. <clears throat> that means you just gotta keep coming back and then back and back for for, for maybes. Of, of course, I, I see that this is how they can have a dynamic loot. So these, these uh, merchants keep changing their loot. But it's a little annoying because you gotta keep coming back to the merchant. Or at least, you know... 
I'm not sure how it should be. But it's a little annoying. It's not 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 a huge deal. But I just gotta keep maybe maybe they should have uh, a bigger selection. That that's why I I bought that perk that actually turned out to be garbage. Oh. It's only because pristine. Okay. Pristine hammer, but it's garbage. Yeah, it's not good stuff. Alright, let's talk to Rosanna. You mind trying to have a moment here? I'm looking for your boyfriend. I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus Trask. I'm told he lived around here. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I'm on the level. You can ask Junlei about me. You're telling me you're on a first-name basis with Ms. Tennyson? I'm not one of Harlow's thugs. You can trust me. Oh my god. I repaired the Groundbreaker's radiators, uh, radiators for her. Yeah, that, that should be better because if I tell her that I'm not one of Harlow's thugs, then she knows that I know about Harlow. Yeah, the promenade doesn't feel like I'm walking the surface of Tartarus. So that was you, huh? Yep. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Thanks for that. <laughs> so we found him. Emerald Vale. But we have Just another... Quest here. Something I can help you with? Not this guy. Take care. Uh, not companion quest. Side quest. Wanda we want to know what became of Captain Irian and Delivery. Where is Wanda? Is she here? Local doctors? Oh, she's here. Oh, oh fuck yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, she's the one. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Oh. You're welcome. Keep Good hanging tip. around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? Nothing. <laughs> you have yourself a day then. <laughs> wow. Uh... I'm not very interested, Vanda. Uh, that's just how it goes. Uh, so we got Byzantium. Byzantium. Emerald Vale. Monarch. And Byzantium. Maybe Emerald Vale. Then Monarch. Why not? Yeah, let's just do Felix's quest. Coming back to the ship. So... I guess we're heading out. Are causing a disturbance on the ship. Yeah, you say that, but they're just like having a chat. I heard this before. So, Terra 2, Edgewater. Right? This is where we have a quest. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Oh, well, we're heading out. A mysterious stranger. Threatens our way of life. Terror on the frontier. Ah. Uh. Two bits. 
What? And we're good. I think for the next episode, I, I'll, I just have to uh, reroll the the drivers, the video card drivers a little bit, because uh, we're having issues. That's it, and apparently that fixes it. Two crashes. And it always crashes when we're seeing that stupid screen. It's not a big deal, like, we don't lose anything. Actually, the game auto-saves. So how do we get there? Was it possible to even get there? Dead. Oh, there's one guy who's not dead. My time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You guys see that? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> well done. Keep doing that. It looks funny. How the fuck did we get there? Oh, 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 we can go in there. <sighs> oh, very friendly outlaws. I guess Rufus Trask. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. I'm not gonna... tell that your wife told me where to find you. I'm not gonna share that information. <clears throat> That's right, Harlow sa said you betrayed him. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Why did you betray Harlo? How do I know that I can trust you? You don't. What's the worst that could happen? Harlo sends a stranger with a gun after you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Felix, you Go idiot. piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. Go piss up a rope. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I actually saw that. I read that, but the most annoying thing about the consoles that even when you read good information, you have no way. No, okay, not not always, but many times you have no way to act on it. Very, very annoying. You're asking me to take you for your word. Show me some evidence. Yeah, but we're kind of taking Harlow at his word as well. Like, like, kind of like. You're saying you're already guilty, and you have to prove your innocence here. You're asking me to take you for your word. Show me some evidence. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Yeah, there is. You're looking at her. <laughs> huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. 
I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard. And he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. What was Harlow doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. All right. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not going to kill you, Trask, but I'm going to ask you for your ring. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Take care. Leveling up! Optional, find Trask's stashed evidence. Return to Harlow with Felix. Okay, uh, well, I can distribute some points. I'm not sure on what. This is extra armor, so I guess that doesn't hurt. Persuasion. It's probably not gonna stay with me for too long, but if he did, then persuasion would be pretty important. Uh, I don't know. He's already not dying. If he if he ever replaces Pavetti, a uh, Parvati, then. Uh, then persuasion would be pretty important. Parvati. TT Demeter. And she uses an ability. Or just extra armor. Let's just go with the TT Demeter. That seems fine. Actually, might be the, the armor is better. I don't care too much about TTD. And I can also distribute some skills. And it's gonna be a tough decision here. Very tough decision. I don't know what to put points into. So Long Guns makes me a pretty good fighter. I don't really need to put points into this. Usually. Hack could use some points. But not super important. Sneak not important. Lockpick I have enough. Science. I don't have... Science. Engineering I have enough. Medical I usually don't need. So I can start putting points in the hack and science. What if I up science? By 10. Increases my damage with shock and plasma by 3%. So this is like a very flat increase. And it reduces the tinkering cost by a lot. But that's not super relevant. I'm usually okay with hacking. Let's just go into science. That also gives me a damage, I guess. Fine. So, we can go back to him. And this is probably going to end up in his death. Maybe not. Maybe just uh, a falling out, in a way. Some crew members are causing a disturbance. We can go to Scylla, Arlo's base. We also have one on Scylla's landing pad. The hell? We don't. Oh, man. Space 
Tracer's Choice. That pistol doesn't suck too much. It's it's okay. So, uh, I guess we use the lift. I don't need to break my legs. Oh, and we can find the evidence. I wasn't thorough enough. We didn't find the evidence. It's apparently over here. Um, I can only reach it from inside. But we found the evidence on the computer. And that was not good enough. We need to find that. Uh... Oh shit! This is it? Stash receipts? Oh, yeah, this was tough to find, I guess. Hey, Harlow. What's the word? Show him Trask Rink, it's done. Trask is dead. So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. The Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. Trask told me you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? I do. You have been bought off. I got the receipts. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. When we met, you told me Trask was an informant for the board. You were lying. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Come on, Harlow. Why would Trask rat you out to your own employers? How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde? Look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Looks like we're doing this- Oh, shit. Not feeling uh, very well now. Uh, he's, 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 he's not having the best day. Uh, he's kind of dead. So this was kind of predictable, super predictable, especially after I I read this exact information about him when I came in, and I couldn't act on it, which was a bummer. It would have been more interesting in a way if I didn't know that information. Low pressure helm, sneak. don't care about me. And Felix wants to talk about the situation. The TP 
behind you. So they keep up. But it also doesn't... It's not super obvious when it happens. It's just like, hey, we're here. It's like, oh, okay. So Felix, you want to talk about the situation? Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. No way! I'm coming. Stop that. You don't think that's a problem? Whole ship's running on a computer's fancy. Then I'll make you nervous, Preacher? No, Felix. The concept of a ship computer does not make me nervous. Are you scared of Ada? I ain't scared of Ada. Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. It's just, she's a computer, Max. What happens when her equations tell her to cut off her oxygen? Or blast us all into space? Felix, Ada is not sentient. She can't act out of a sense of malice. Where do you get these ideas? I was watching true stories of mechanical murderers last night. <laughs> Felix, I find your purity, purity refreshing. This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Felix, this was very predictable. You're just going to have... To come, with turn, uh, come to terms with that. You never really know what's going on inside someone's skull. Don't look at me, Felix. I don't I don't think. I just shoot things. <laughs> you have to... You're just going to have to come uh, to terms with that, Felix. That's just how it goes. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is... Uh, this is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Lesson here is to not look up to anyone. That's not the lesson. The thing is here, I, I can't super fault them for working to the board. Like, obviously they were pirates and slavers, kind of. And killers. But working for the board? Not that part. So, that's not the part that's that's bad. Like, they would be, you know? They, they say like, oh, we're slavers and killers and like, we, we're pirates and whatever. We do all those things. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Wow, I love you. It's like, like, but we work for the board. No, no, not that. That's like, oh my god. Rotten to the core. Mm. I can understand why you're upset. Uh, why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. These these answers are not great. I feel like the... These different... I feel like this has different writers. For sure. Pavetti... Ah. Parvetti... Just comes off very different, and, and Vicar comes up very... Well, Parvati and Vicar, those seem to be a little bit above what you get with Felix. Felix is a, like, jokes and more predictable. Cry me a river, Felix. Your childhood friend let you down. Move on. I just mean... I can get drunk for a start, I guess. No kidding. I'm glad you keep the kitchen stocked. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Well, the thing is, we didn't know oh, what Trask was doing. It's very possible that he deserved it, but we just didn't know. You know? We can only kill a person once. So, that's why he didn't get killed. Lockpick 10. Actually, that's kind of good. But do I even have a an armor that I can replace? Tech skills, stealth skills, dialogue skills. It's my helmet. You can use that. 
Who am I gonna take next time? That's a that's a good question. Where are we going? Uh, I'm feeling uh, like Felix probably should take a uh, take the bench now. Nyoka, Nyoka is the one we're taking. So Nyoka is got the uh, going to get the armor and this helmet, and Felix is gonna give me back my armor. Uh, you can wear that, and it's done. Yeah, you can wear that. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, maybe a, a change of weaponry, actually. Yeah, like that. Slightly better. Nyoka. Extra damage to creatures, or more armor when you're getting hit. Uh, more armor when you're getting hit might be better. Let's do that. Because extra damage to creatures only good when you we are fighting creatures. That's not all the time. So that's nice. Okay. Um going for a sleep. I think the next mission should be with the Nyoka. Okay, I'm a little hungry. Okay, and a little thirsty, of course. I'm not sure what can, what can we eat here. Yeah, that's good enough. So, let's take the ship, park it on Monarch. Cascadia landing pad, dangerous. And the Fallbrook one is probably the most sensible. Let's see, Terra 2. Yeah, this is the one we should do next. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.